right, that was very, very nice. them at first it was okay but then by the end of it it goes out of tune. I would rather you do it at half speed. You can't drop two fingers at the same time. Start from here. I see that the cat is a local celebrity. <laughs> Seven and a half, I'd give it. Yeah. How do you practice it? What do you do? And that's it? That's all you do? Just play from memory real quick and repeat it a few times? But they mean with that song. What do you ever play from music? Okay, I can tell. That's one thing. Another thing will is I can tell that you probably play mostly fast. So here's what happens. You play well. And then you start fixing things as you go. The problem with this is that once you know where the mistakes are, you have to go and do it slowly so that you don't have mistakes. So always practice slowly. When I play, I practice slowly 75% of the time. Only 25% of the time I play fast. Okay? I need you to play it with the music. And at this tempo. You have 
to look ahead just a little bit so that you don't make mistakes. Well, give me a second, I'll raise the stand. Start from here. So don't start from the beginning. You may you ha you had to break down there. Start a little before and make sure you don't break down. No, no, no. From C. <laughs> okay. Can you start right from there? No, no, no. From C. Down. Wrong notes. Wrong notes. Name the notes. Yes. Good. And then you're on the second line. So it's like a scale. So what's the problem there? Which finger skips? You jump from third finger to first finger and you don't play the second finger. It's like a scale, you don't uh, skip anything. So I need you to do it again. But that's not B. What note is this? Uh -huh. No, no, no. I need you to play from here, not from here. From here, and then you go right there. Good. Stop. That was perfect. Now, because it was perfect, how many times are we going to do it? I'll, I'll, I'll negotiate for three times because I don't have enough patience for fun. Do it three times. So start down bow. Did you start your down bow? I need you to start there, not here. So you start there and you jump to line number two. B instead of C. Good. And now play that part again and then move on. Yeah, your bare bowings are backwards, my friend. For some reason, you start out bow. So from there, start down bow and then keep your bows. Well, stop for a second. I need you to take a moment. Take a moment and focus, okay? Because you're starting, you're starting, you're starting three, four times, and then you're lost. I need you to start right there and move on to right there from that C. So don't start playing until you're ready and you thought about it and you feel comfortable. Do you know where we're starting? Show me with the bow. Okay. Do you know where your eyes have to move next? 
Ну и Т. Will, do not start until you're ready and you thought about it. You see where the tape is? You see where your finger is? Down low. Wait, wait, wait. It happens once again. You're not reading the music. You're playing from memory again. All right. If you can't play it slow, you can't play it fast. You know what happens when you play fast? It's, you still make those mistakes, but, well, violin down, please. Violin down, violin down. What happens is you just don't have time to realize that you're making those mistakes. You just keep playing. No matter what happens, it's like uh, dust. You know, just I need you to go back and play it with music slowly so you can read it. It's not hard, you know all the notes. But you play too much from memory and too much you play fast. You have to play slow. Next time I want this medium tempo and perfectly, no mistakes. Alright, minuet. So first, we're going to read the notes without the bowings and without the rhythms. First line, like we did last time. And read as on the violin. Play them. G, yeah. So I, I need you to read bar, bar by bar. So in between the lines, don't tag this one to here. So D, 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 B, A, B, G, A, D, C, B, A. No C sharp. Uh -huh. Do it again. Fix the mistake right away. Uh huh. And then the next part, what does it look like to you? Scale. Yes. Oh, fourth finger. Okay. 
FG Good for you. Do it one more time. Just those two words. That was very good. Very much in tune. Very good job. <laughs> Not two Gs. See you out of You start missing notes. It goes to G. No, 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 no. Here's, here's what you're doing. You're trying to play from memory already. It's too early. And you're trying to play fast right away. Well, well and done. Well and done. Okay, so. You can spend one month, two months, three months learning this song, or if you do it the way I want you to do it, you can spend three or four weeks max learning this song, and it's gonna be super polished. Which one would you like? The faster one. It's not necessarily my way, like, I need it my way. It's the way that all musicians practice who are good at it. All right. So you played all the notes and you played them right the first time. What you did the second time is play faster, start making mistakes. You have to stick to what works first and do it three or four times so it's in your ear and you know what notes come after which. Because if you start making mistakes right away, then what's the right way? How do you know which way? Like, you can confuse yourself, okay? So I need you to be like a, I don't know, is there a job that's super careful and you have to make sure every step of the way it's right? Can you think of one? I can't. Just make sure that it's, no, the right note. So don't play it unless you're sure, okay? So again, two lines, but do it slowly, please. Don't do it fast. It's not D. It's not, it's not D. Mm -hmm. And if you struggle with that last part, do it again, just that part. Go ahead. All right. And do it again. This is how I'm sure you have to practice at home, okay? No, no, the whole uh, two lines. Slow.
No, you skipped the note. I need you to look at the music, not at the fingers. And at this point, you might say, well, maybe line one doesn't need that much practice. It's easy. Maybe. Mm -hmm. So why don't you do just line two again? Yeah, so at home you do it two or three, no, let me rephrase that, four or five times, making sure that there are no mistakes, quality control, maybe ask one of your siblings to check all the notes, and then you move on. What kind of C is it? What kind of C? When you see the sign, do you know what it's called? Do you know what it's called? It's called sharp. See? That means your second finger will be high. That's what that means. You okay? okay? So here, this is high second finger. This is low second finger because it doesn't have a sharp. That means she wants you to pat her. She lies on her back. Oh, let's change her mind. Okay, so very interesting that you played C sharp and then C natural. The rule is once there is C sharp here, it stays sharp for the whole bar until you see the line. So this is C sharp and this is C sharp as well. Or if there are sharps by the treble clap right there, they stay true for the whole song. So let's say here you see three sharps which is F sharp. Which sharp is this? It's on, yes, and? This is G sharp. E is in between lines, lines five, four and five. This is G sharp. So every time you see three of those notes, you have to play an M sharp. In this case, the only sharp we have is? E. This is not E. It's on the line, right? Not in between the lines. G? No, G is also... What, what note is on the fifth line? F. F. Yes. If you ever have questions, just look here. F. So, otherwise all notes are natural, but then you have some of them pop up and they're sharp. Okay? So start there. It's, uh, yes, good, keep going. What 
Ah, yeah, you played G for some reason. Good. And this part is the same as this one, but on E string. figure it out. Let me play the whole piece for you. Just like you were right now. What you were doing right now is good practice. Bad practice would be just try to get the song and just go for it. Because it's going to take you five times as much time to learn the piece. First you got to put it together like it's a puzzle. And you have to do it nice and slow. With every new piece, you just start real slow. Okay? you got to promise me that you will not play fast much. Promise? Good, that's all for today. Good job.